Hello and welcome to video tutorial adding property controls in Spot5. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to add a property control in Spot5. I have a bar chart which has product plus dimension on category axis and it's having the sales as value axis. Now we are going to insert a property control. In order to insert a property control, we should add a text area object first. So we are going to go to insert menu and select new text area here. This will add a new text area onto your page. On the right hand side, you have a button to insert a property control. We are going to select the type of property control that we are going to add from the drop down. So we are going to select a list box type of property control and then you have to select how you are going to set the property value through so we are going to select the expressions mode here so we are going to set the property or the value of the property using expressions now you can add a series of expressions here and have a display name for each of this expression We are going to add a new expression, uh, property control by name Calculate And then we can start adding expressions to this property control called Calculate The first expression would be sum of sales We are going to have a display name as sales here. We are going to add another property control by name sales percentage. In this expression, we are going to calculate the percentage of sales. So this is the expression for calculating the percentage of sales. We are going to name this expression as sales percentage. We are going to add a third expression in our property control called calculate by name costs. And then we are going to also add another expression for cost percentage. We are going to name this expression as cost percentage.
once all these four expressions are added and we have given a display name for all these four expressions you can click on ok this will create a list box in your text area with values sales sales percentage cost and cost percentage in it now you can just exit from the text area so that it just displays the list box there now when we go to the chart properties uh, when we go to the custom expressions here we are actually calculating the sales sum of sales which is a fixed one you can change this expression to a property control by inserting a property control in the chart expression you can just select the property control from the drop down here this is the calculate property control that we have added you can just select the property control and click on insert property this will add expression for this property control with starting with dollar sign and curly brackets you can just click on ok so when you when you have sales selected by default it will display the sales on your bar chart when you select sales percentage this will display the sales percentage on your bar chart when you select cost that will display the cost for each of the products and when you select cost percentage it will display the cost percentage on your bar chart so using the property control and a single expression in chart we are just changing the calculation in chart from sales to sales percentage and from sales percentage to cost and from cost to cost percentage so it's a very powerful <coughs> feature in Swapfire using which you can just display different values in one single chart this completes our tutorial on property control thank you